unpopular opinion, but this piece of wisdom gonna set you free right here. Realizing that no one can cheat on you. Mm. It's about understanding that you have no possession over nobody. Nobody. This is true. Belongs to you. And once you realize this, this will simply set you free. We as humans be choosing bondage. We be choosing slavery because we don't realize that we have a choice of our own freedom and our own awareness of realizing that, dang, man, nobody belongs to me. So let me set them free. But a lot of people don't want to hear this. I know, man. This is when you got to stop taking things so personal. Stop feeling like you have ownership and control over somebody else's well-being and someone else's life decisions. If they want to do what they want to do, it has nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. They did not cheat on you. They cheated on themselves. Mm, the they have no loyalty to that. That Hey, hey, yo. Selves. Stop making everything about you. This is them, this is their character, and they just exposed it to you. You can either deal with it, cry about it, pout about it, or move on with it. It's up to you, boo. Mm, hey, nah, look, hey, she's spitting some. Look, what she's saying, I, I've said this before. If you, you know, if this is your first time, of course, you know, subscribe. But, you, you know, if it's your first time on here, you probably haven't heard me say it. But, you've, I mean, if this is not your first time, you've heard me say this. I've said this before. Like I said, society was the is the. I've said society is a is the is the reason why people. Are so first of all, society is the reason why people are so possessive, right? And I think me personally, I think society is good and bad. Like you know, what I'm saying society set rules. You know, individuality kind of goes out the window. People tend to you know everybody wants to be sheep. You know what I'm saying? If you stand out, they ridicule you. They point. They call you names. They do all that. that, that, that you know what I'm saying? So yeah, but. As I've said, the way she thinks is the way I think. You know what I mean? It's hard because we've been programmed, um, you know, we've been programmed since, we were, you know, for how many generations, right? And you came in the world with that knowledge. So it's going to be hard for you to kind of move. But when you come to that actualization or uh, uh, enlightenment or whatever, you get to understand what she's saying. It's, it's a hard concept to get out of it. But if you can understand that, that nothing belongs to you, you can move forward, you know, easier and better. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot, there's so much, we, we try to possess so much, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us, we all trying to like, you know what I mean? Oh, mine, my, everybody. Like, for example, ladies, ladies want a relationship. They don't, if you're not, if you're not going to give them, I'm not saying all, by the way, right? Just generalizing. But um, if you don't, if you're not, if you're not about to give me a relationship or marry me, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with you. Why is it so, everybody's so focused on, they want, they, they they're not focused on the connection, but they're focused on basically the results. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they want, you know, you want a family or that. You don't want to, they don't, women are so quick to jump into like, you know, as long as the man can provide for them financially and maybe he has just a little bit of good traits, they can kind of squash the rest. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to, let's just say a man that makes them feel good, but he cannot provide. You know what I'm saying? And all these things, I know it's kind of, you know, I'm just kind of spitting, going on the side. But all these things, it's all still around the same corner, bro. You know what I'm saying? The idea is that basically you don't own nothing. You know what I'm saying? No matter how scrutiny, how, how much scrutiny you do, how much da, da 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 the person can still cheat. And you blaming them for the cheating. Yeah, I mean, they cheated. It's, you know, they did it wrong. Yeah. But <laughs> all the same, you know what I'm saying? It's life. It's just, it's, it's really life. Are you going, you know, basically break your whole life down because this person cheated on you and da da da? You going through? Nah, you don't need that. You don't own that person. The person doesn't own you. None of y'all own each other. Nobody in this world owns anybody. So, you know what I'm saying? That whole possession thing is, uh, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, it's a far stretch. You know what I mean? It's like, bro. But it's hard. It's hard for us to, even saying it, you know, it's hard. It's going to be, it's going to be hard. Can you imagine? You know, it's something you've learned. You know, it's like people that, that, you know, religion and all that good stuff, right? Um, you grew up with a certain religion, you know, and may, let's just say, for example, you find another religion that just speaks more to you. It's still going to be hard for you to completely break out of that previous religion because you grew up on it. You know what I'm saying? So 
similar situation with this one. You know what I'm saying? We've been structured a certain way. Some of us have, you know, we are open-minded to the point where we realize, oh, this way, that's why it's not working because we think we own people. We think we like, you know, we think there's, there's a guaranteed result if you do this and this and that and that and that. But we don't realize that, or, you know, we've come to realize that life is not like that. You can plan everything and boom, 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 and it will still not come out the way you want it to. So ultimately, all you can do, as they say, life will keep happening to you. It's how you react to life that matters. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? So let's let's. I want to hear this one more time, though. Unpopular opinion, but this piece of wisdom gonna set you free right here. Realizing that no one can cheat on you. It's about. I mean, they can't cheat on you. <laughs> they can cheat on you. You know what I'm saying? In the sense of, at the same time, we don't own each other and all that good stuff. But there's an agreement, right? If we have an agreement and you go against the agreement, right? understanding that you have no possession over nobody nobody belongs to you and once you realize this this will simply set you free we as humans be choosing bondage we be choosing slavery because we don't realize that we have a choice of our own freedom and that's because of society right it's not that we don't realize it some people we realize it but because we want to fit into society. We want to stay in society. We give up on these things that whatever, right, just to fit in. You know what I'm saying? And that is where the issue is. I don't ever think the issue really is in society. It's still in the individual. You just have to be mentally strong, right? I mean, of course, the issue is in society. You know, but what I'm saying is ultimately society might not change per se to the, for the better. But the individual can do that. You know what I'm saying? On awareness of realizing that, dang, man... Nobody belongs to me, so let me set them free. But a lot of people don't want to hear this. I know, man. You know, it's like that thing about the flower. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you've, you've heard this. They say if you see a flower, you know, flower that's beautiful, whatever it is that you like, do you pluck it and take it home with you and put it in the vase and all that good stuff? Or do you just leave it there so others can appreciate it too? You don't own the flower. Some people pluck it, kill the flower, right, and go take it to the you know the vase and all that little, while some other people might see it and be like oh that's beautiful you know what i'm saying I, I you know enjoy the moment enjoy it and move on because they might still come back to see the flower and all that good stuff but they want other people to experience the flower because they know they don't own the flower you know what i'm saying it's not theirs you know what i'm saying once you take try to take possession of it you kill it you know what i'm saying it might not look dead right but give it time <laughs> Then again, you can take it home, nurture it, and build another flower from there, right? Or, or a, a whole whatever it is from there. So, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that, though. Because uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. This is when you got to stop taking things so personal. Stop feeling like you have ownership and control over somebody else's well-being and someone else's life decisions. If they want to do what they want to do, it has nothing to do with you. This is true. Don't forget, we are all experiencing life differently. Every single one of us is experiencing life at our own understanding. You know what I'm saying? Whether we twins, whether we whatever it is, even I'm pretty sure I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know. But I would assume Siamese twins or, you know, might not still experience the same exact, you know, things. You know what I'm saying? I just we are all it's all based on how you see it. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 ultimately how life is. It's based on how you see. It's a perspective thing. You know what I'm saying? What you see, what you look for is what you're going to find. You know what I mean? They did not cheat on you. They cheated on themselves. This is true. Don't forget, as I said, agreement. You have an agreement. When you make an agreement, you make an agreement with somebody, whatever it is, but you still, that agreement is still, you know, you. Self-discipline, self-control, all these things, you make an agreement with yourself that you go, you know, boom, boom. So when you cheat on somebody, you're cheating on yourself. You know what I'm saying? In, the, in that sense, you know what I mean? They have no loyalty to themselves. Stop making everything about you. Mm. This is them. This is their character. And they just exposed it to you. You can either deal with it, cry about it, pout about it, or move on with it. It's up to you, boo. Mm, I I, no, for real, though. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. You know what I'm saying? I know this is going to be definitely like a lot of people is going to say... I want to hear it all. This is this is discussions. And, you know, if you don't like me talking too much, well, dip out because this is discussions. We're here to talk. 
You know what I'm saying? If you don't like talking, don't subscribe, don't join, don't like, don't do nothing. You know what I mean? But nah, we 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 here. I wanna I wanna get your perspective on it. This is my perspective, right? But I wanna get your perspective. That's because we are all mighty. A L L all mighty. You feel me? All right, let's get up to the next one. <laughs> 